football star from Waimanalo and is the third NFL player to come out that he's gay. Now he's taking a stand against bullying and doing a host of other projects. Joining us this morning is Asara Tuo'o. Good morning. <laughs> uh, good morning. And Aloha. thank you so much for joining us. And welcome back home, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back in Hawaii, Nei, So. So you've had an incredible journey uh, after your NFL career. And in 2003, you came out you were in, that you were gay. Yes. And in 2008, you wrote a book about your experiences. Yes. Uh, why don't you tell us what it was like to, to live life for a while without really revealing to people who you truly were? You know, uh, anytime you're living with a crippling secret, it's, all, it's always something that, uh, that holds you down. And uh, when I came out in 2003, it was definitely uh, an amazing feeling where I felt complete and I felt whole. And it was this uh, Jason Collins who came out. Uh, one of his comments was that when he came out, he, he 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 felt complete. He felt like a whole person, and that's exactly the reason how I felt. Uh, but especially it was, uh, being in sports, did you feel that you couldn't just you couldn't talk about it for a uh, long time? Yeah, you know, I mean, we definitely live in a society that hates us for who we truly are, and then also living in a culture and playing in the NFL, which is the masculine culture. It was very difficult to really uh, to tell people who I truly was, but living with crypt a crypton secret gives gives you like depression, gives you uh, you know you're living with depression, you're living with uh, suicide tendencies, you're living with a uh, fear that someone will find out who you truly are, and you would lose everything you worked so hard for. And now these days, uh, you're a motivational speaker. I am. Uh, yes. You still have your uh, catering business. Yes, you're into yes, health yes. food. I uh, am to health food. I am uh, with uh, Emerald Organic. I'm the executive chef for Emerald Organic. Um, I go around the country also uh, uh, speaking about homophobia and sports. And I also do an anti-bullying program called Hating Any Form Is Wrong. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's an epidemic that's sweeping this nation that I think we should focus our energy on because we're losing a lot of kids out there. And you're also a musician. You're singing about this I as am. Well, right? Yeah, you know, last, uh, last week I did a, um, a single release party at Hula's, and the name, the, call, the name of the song is called Strongers and Love and Hate. And it's, uh, you know, it's a song that was written for the, for, for the JLBT nation, but for how you truly feel when you really come out. Um, all the proceeds go to my anti-bullying program, and it's one of those. And people can go to uh, hateiswrong.com and get more information about it. So, what is it that you don't do? Because it sounds like you've got a really, really <laughs> busy life. You know, I don't. I don't tap. That's one of the okay. things I do not do. I do not tap. But other than that, uh, you know, I dance the hula. I dance, <laughs> you know, everything else. But it's uh, it's definitely been an amazing journey, and. Uh, and coming from Hawaii, I think, has equipped me to be uh, the person that I am. Well, Sarah, it's so great to have you here. I know the <laughs> folks in Waimanala are definitely watching this morning. So thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you for having us. me. Aloha. Thank you. And stick around. We've got more news ahead.